hey guys rtt back here for another video guys today we're looking at the ultimate laptop setup for the surface duo 2. now this whole entire setup is less than a hundred dollars this keyboard right here in front of you is actually going to be 30 dollars off amazon it's a bluetooth and wireless keyboard we have a 12 dollar mouse right here which is wireless and also bluetooth we have a cable right here connected to my monitor which is going to go ahead and be the price tag of $15.99. And then we have a phone holder holding up my Surface Duo 2, which is, of course, coming in at $15.99. So the whole entire price tag, we have $30, we have $15, we have $15, which is $60, and we have $72 for this whole entire setup. Now, this setup, you can take wherever you want. So if you put this in your bag, for example, you can have a keyboard, a mouse, a phone holder, and your phone all in a little bag take it to wherever you need to take it to and you're ready to go without any hassle now if you want to go ahead and plug in your actual phone to a monitor to go ahead and actually get more of a gigantic laptop type setup that's what you can do with the surface duo 2. so let me go ahead and actually plug in the surface duo 2 here and we are going to see that it actually does get broadcast right to my big monitor behind us here and this lets us be able to really just take advantage of the actual full-on surface duo 2 so starting off right away if i go ahead and actually go over to the settings app i can actually start plugging in and connecting my stuff so i go ahead and turn on my mouse real fast just like that you guys are going to see that i'm able to go ahead and instantly connect with my actual surface duo 2 again all you have to do is go to the setting go to bluetooth and you can automatically connect your bluetooth mouse right to your thing and as you guys can see on the screen right here there's an actual mouse icon and also on the back screen so again you do not need a separate monitor to go ahead and utilize this you can utilize this without a separate monitor at all it just makes it a little bit easier to have that second monitor because now you actually have the ability to you know see your actual phone in a bigger on a bigger screen so i go ahead and turn on this bad boy right here you are going to see that I will instantly same concept. Now, in order to connect this one, you actually got to go ahead and click on Bluetooth right down here. And bam, you guys can see it is connected. That little blinking icon right there. So I go ahead and actually move. I can actually control my Surface Duo from my keyboard, from my mouse. And this lets me be able to really have that, you know, whole entire setup where it's more or less a laptop now the thing that sucks about of course surface duo 2 it does not have windows quintillium and it also does not have samsung decks so really all you can do when it comes to this is just mirror your actual phone to your desktop to your monitor whatever the case you can't really have its own operating system but that's not really too big of a deal there's a lot of different launchers out there that lets you really mirror windows 11 so you can even kind of use that to your advantage but in all honesty with how the interface works of launcher 10 by the way this is launcher 10 on the background this actually works very very well and actually gets the job done quite amazingly so if i go ahead and actually open up some let's go ahead and open up Ooh, let's see office i'm not sure if i have actual word installed i might i might not so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and click on this is actually an article i was writing i mean a paper i was writing uh for some cards i need to buy for um one of my games so if i go ahead and click on this you guys can see i can actually start typing without any hassle at all straight from my keyboard so i can literally just go ahead and start typing i'm gonna do this one-handed though hi guys and you guys can see no latency at all very fluent very flush between the two things here hi guys how are you so let's go ahead and type that and you guys can see bam from this keyboard again 30 dollar keyboard uh straight to my phone to my monitor now again like i said you do not need an actual monitor in the background i could just have no monitor in the background have my phone set up just like this and be able to type away use my keyboard use my mouse this is what i've said before i said it again i have used the surface zero one every single day of my life when it comes to my college and the reason why is because i can lose the exact same concept i used to carry around this like gigantic macbook all the time whenever i would walk around now i have my phone in the pocket i use this keyboard and mouse all times wherever i go i don't have to go ahead and carry around a lot of stuff 
it's very simple setup very easy setup to type up papers to type up whatever you need to type up maybe take notes in class it's a very easy and uh ready to go setup and again like i said before i showed off in another video the thing that really rocks about the surface zero two and surface zero one is the ability to have dual screens and because of that you're able to go ahead and have that split screen type of look without even having to go ahead and set anything up so if i go ahead and go back here right and i actually let me see if i can actually pull up i'm not sure if i should be able to pull up the actual uh applications let's see uh all apps it might glitch out for me just because look all right let's go ahead and switch screens i am in launcher 10 so it might you know glitch out a little bit for that reason here we go so let's go ahead and go up here and i can actually pull up chrome now and have chrome on my right screen right while having my whatever i'm typing up on my left screen so this again like i said is always a big benefit of the surface duo one or two versus having let's say a galaxy fold three which is all one screen so instead of having the ability to have that split display without any hassle at all now you actually have a actual you have a split display without any hassle at all without having to have one gigantic screen and then you having to kind of piece together certain things now obviously the surface uh, uh, full three has samsung decks so that does go ahead and take a little bit away from that but i will say having the ability to just straight up without any hassle having this all set up already without having to go ahead and pin on one side this one side that i like it i really do so i can go ahead and type in the war of 18 12 and this i've said many times it's so amazing when it comes to doing college work on this thing because especially if you plug it into your computer like this you don't need to have your pc on you or your laptop on you or anything and again like i said you don't even need a monitor in the background i can have this device right here i can see perfectly fine if i need to go ahead and start typing up like a word document for example I can literally just go, okay, paste, and then start typing up everything I need to type up while having all my information, all my research on the right-hand side of the screen. So again, like I said, it's very easy, very convenient. And when it comes to actually going ahead, let's say, uh, if we go ahead and go back here, again, let's see if I can actually get this to go back. It's a little bit weird with the keyboard and mouse. I'll definitely say that, especially because I'm not used to using the keyboard and mouse as much when it comes to the Surface Duo 2. Surface Duo 1, I'm used to it all the time. Surface Duo 2, it's very similar, but there are some times where you close an application is a little bit tougher with the Surface Duo 2, I feel like. Again, that just may, might be my personal thing. So I go ahead and click on YouTube, right? You can also span it across two screens just like you could normally. So you can have that one screen look. If you want that Galaxy Fold, old one screen look you can get that out of doing this and the cool thing about it is you see where something is not there is no hinge down the middle guys at all so normally you have that hinge down the middle right that makes the surface duo kind of weird kind of you know like different right because like oh i have the hinge down the middle when you are actually displaying it on a gigantic monitor or any kind of monitor possible you can even get a very cheap monitor in all honesty you do not have that hinge across the middle when you are going ahead and actually spanning out the display which is actually really freaking cool so i go ahead and go out to office right we just was on office let's look at it again if i go ahead and span it out between both monitors here you guys are gonna see again i now if i go ahead and click on this uh let's see if i can actually span this out bam i no longer have that split down the middle so if you want to get rid of that split and you say hey i don't like this split this split just it gives me this weird feeling like i'm having like a kind of like a mix of a smaller screen you can even span it out across both applications you don't have the hinge anymore for this device and you can easily work now for office it's a little bit different because there is no hinge anymore but it is meant to have one screen be one thing another screen be another thing but other different applications like i just showed you with youtube works out pretty much perfectly fine having the ability to spread out across too so if i want to go ahead and do like for example google chrome let's go ahead and do that you guys can see it spans out perfectly fine across the whole entire thing without any hassle at all so as a laptop yes you do not have samsung decks yes you do not have windows Contillium. yes there's some things that aren't going to be perfect this is a pretty dang good laptop and i guess you could say again you do have eight gigabytes of ram now 
with the win with the surface zero one the idea was well it was a good laptop but you don't really have much in there you now have eight gigabytes of ram on this surface zero two you also have the latest processor 888 snapdragon 888 processor you also have a great battery this is a lot more i will say like i said before is this an upgrade enough for you to go from surface zero one to surface zero two it all depends on what you utilize these phones for right the surface zero one i think that was a really great phone and for the price tag it is right now it's an amazing deal this price tag of this phone is a uh, very very high up there but if you use it every single day of your life especially i will say i made a, I made a post yesterday about this this phone got updated recently with a little yes it got updated a new update this phone works so much better after that update it literally does not crash on me pretty much at all anymore when it comes to applications some application with crashing and kind of glitching out it doesn't do that at all for me anymore it's very fluent very nice and i will definitely say microsoft did not fix everything but they definitely fixed some things with this new update guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out